Hi, my name is James Flores and welcome to another video of Ask an Organist. Just before I get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on any of my future videos. In case you didn't know, a few weeks ago my wife and I welcomed our third daughter, Allegra, into the world. We now have three beautiful children, Amelia, Alice and Allegra. Yes, we didn't get past the A section in the baby names book. But we thought we had a theme going, so we may as well stick to it. Yes, Allegra is also derived from the musical term Allegro. Plus, it sounds pretty cool too. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from my cousin Kim. She asks me, what is it about the organ that makes you so passionate about it? What a great question, Kim. Though I'm not sure I can just pinpoint one thing or aspect about the organ. Perhaps if you can bear with me, I can reflect back on my musical journey and we can find some answers. So as you know, my aunt Aurora Flores taught me the piano ever since I was a child up until I completed my HSC. Playing the piano, completing exams, performing at recitals and Steadfords were a big part of my life and I was reasonably good at it too. However, my career led me down a different path to studying IT at the University of Wollongong. During this time, I didn't give up the piano or music but I took a little break from it. Of course, I was still interested, but my priorities at the time were different. Once I finished uni, I returned back to Albury and I set myself a new musical goal to get my associate diploma, MSA, in piano. I did end up achieving this, which was a highlight of my life, but I still felt a desire to do something more with my music. In 2011, at what I thought was a usual Sunday mass at church, I heard the sound of an organ. Yes, I've heard organs played before, but this was different. It was being played in a way that was musical and I heard sounds that were different but intriguing. The organist also played repertoire, not just hymns sounding the same from week to week. This definitely inspired me. I knew from that point that I had to know more and learn about this beast. You see, an instrument such as a piano can be quite isolating. Other instruments such as strings, brass and woodwinds have more opportunities to collaborate with each other. Sure, I could have tried to accompany local choirs but since there was only one position for this, it would be hard to get into. What instrument can you think of that gets used on a weekly basis and has the power to engage human emotions, create enthusiasm and impart a sense of unity? The organ, of course. It plays an important role in worship. Music enriches worship. For instance, hymns gather people together. They help teach theology and provide an avenue for emotional expression of faith. Playing the organ at church allows me to use my gifts and contribute to liturgical celebrations. Of course, the organ is also a legitimate concert instrument in its own right. repertoire written for the organ is enormous and works continue to be written actively in my lifetime. As some of you may know, I like to give organ recitals, especially at the local Tunes on Tuesday lunchtime recital series at St Matthew's. Playing recitals has also given me the opportunity to travel and share my music at different places, on different organs and to many people. A decade ago, I would have never imagined being able to prepare a significant amount of music regularly for performance. It's amazing what you can achieve when you're enthusiastic about the organ and its vast repertoire. So there you have it Kim, a long-winded way to explain why I'm so passionate about the organ. Just so you know, I could still go on, 
please do send me more questions and I'll try to answer them in future videos. Leave them in the comments below.